This video is a tutorial on how to use Uniswap, the decentralized exchange, specifically with MetaMask. What's up guys, Dirk here from intelligentcryptocurrency.com. Today's video, like I said, by popular request, is a tutorial how to use Uniswap. Now Uniswap is pretty straightforward and it is pretty simple to use, but of course, if it is your first time or you're not familiar with it, then it can take some getting used to. So that's why this is gonna be a short and sweet video on how to use Uniswap. Now Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, meaning that it is literally an interface where you don't actually need to deposit funds onto a centralized exchange like Binance or Coinbase or anything like that. You simply connect your wallet, like your MetaMask or other wallets, there's a lot of different options I can show you in a second, but you control your funds, you connect your wallet to this, and this interface allows you to swap Ethereum for other ERC20 tokens, right? So it's only Ethereum-based tokens, that is what the swap is about, but it makes it very easy and quick to be able to do this basically in a push button style, which is very newbie friendly. Now it does have downsides, of course. First of all, the one is it runs on Ethereum, which is currently uh, slow and congested and the gas fees are high. So when the Ethereum network is really congested and those fees are high, it can literally cost hundreds of dollars to do a transaction. So you wanna be very careful of that. But in times where it's not congested and depending on, on the volume and the size of your transaction, it can be a very interesting option. So as you can see, app.uniswap.org, this is um, the interface, as you can see, very clean, very simple. Now what you do need is to have a MetaMask wallet installed. So that's an extension for uh, Google Chrome or for the Brave browser. You install it at metamask.io, set that up. I'm not gonna go through that in this specific tutorial, okay? So once you have your MetaMask installed, you can have some Ethereum in there, some ETH, and then you can swap it for any of your favorite tokens. And the nice thing about this is because it's decentralized, pretty much any token can be traded here. And this happens usually a lot of the time before it gets listed on any major exchange, allowing people to really get in on new projects at a ground level before most of the world is able to access it or before most of the world knows about it because by the time it gets on a, a larger exchange like Binance, the market cap is usually already in the tens of millions, if not way higher than that. So with Uniswap, you can actually get in on projects when they're literally six figure market caps, right? The downside of this, once again, you wanna be careful, is that anyone can make an ERC20 token and a contract. So you wanna be very, very careful that the token that you are buying on Uniswap is actually the official token because there are scammers that make replicas of, of tokens, put them on Uniswap, and if you buy any of those, you're basically just giving your ETH away to scammers, right? So you wanna be very, very careful. And one way to make sure that you are choosing the official token that you wanna trade is simply just to go to coingecko.com. Very good site for you know keeping track of all the data and the market caps and the price movements. But if you go into any specific token that is an ERC20 token, then you can find the Uniswap pairing and click on that. So let me show you an example. I'm gonna use the coin Wu, Wu Trade Network. And as you can see, when you go in Coin CoinGecko, if you click on the Markets tab, it shows you for every specific coin where it actually trades. So this specific coin at this point in time when I'm recording this video trades on different exchanges. You can see CoinTiger, Hobie Global, Digifinex, Hotbit, and so on and so forth. But you can see Uniswap. So what you can see over here is the Wu ETH pairing. And if you click on this specific pairing, what it does is it opens the pairing in Uniswap, right? So that is a nice thing. When you do this, and it's obviously not 100% guaranteed if CoinGecko gets hacked or something, I mean, I guess they could change out the, the links there. But this is usually a good way to verify that you are actually on the right contract. So you can see over here, I have a very small balance in here, a 0.02 ETH. I'm probably not even gonna be able to do a transaction because the gas fee might actually be higher than, than what I have. But you can see over here, this is the coin, Wu, you can see over here. And these are all the different coins I can actually swap, you know, but they may not always show all the coins that I want, which is why you can find them on CoinGecko, right? If you click on the pairing, it'll open it. You can see the output over here is the contract address. And actually, if you wanna double verify it, you can see the URL, this contract address over here, so it ends in 5D4B. 
If I go to WooTrade over here and I click on the contract address that's listed over here, you can see it ends in 5D4B. So that's just another way to verify that you are buying the right token. Okay, so you always want to be very, very careful with cryptocurrencies, especially using DEXs and things like that, because if you make a mistake, you can't get your money back. Okay, there's no refunds, it's decentralized. That is the whole point behind it. So you want to be very, very careful with that. And then that's basically how it works, right? So you have your ETH and your MetaMask. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to do a transaction. Let's see. 0 .0 0 0.01. Let's see if that works. That would give me... Oh, I can't even do that. 0 0.01. That would give me 55 Wu. Let's see if we can do that. So you can see how easy it is. Basically tells you what you're going to get. Here is the price um, ETH per Wu or you can click on this button and it changes it. So then you can make a note. And this is interesting to take a note of also the price impact. So if you're doing really large quantities, it'll actually tell you how much your, your trade is likely to actually move the price. So if it's a low market cap coin, you can't make very big uh, positions here because that might move the price and then you get slippage. So one thing with with a centralized exchange like binance you can place limit orders and buys and sells and things like that with this there's none of that available okay so it's literally you click the button which makes it very easy but you don't have that functionality of setting limit orders or anything like that so you actually have something called slippage and you can set this so, so if you click here on the settings thing you can see over here the slippage tolerance so the price that it's displaying over here you won't always get that exact price and you can depending on how urgently you want to make that swap you can set the slippage and the parameters for the slippage right so if you're not willing to pay more than 0.5 percent higher than what it's showing then you select that if you want to select one percent or two or three or four or five percent depending on how bad you want it you know some people might be willing to pay a higher price just to have that settle instantly so again these are things that you can play around with transaction deadlines and stuff like that i'm just leaving it standard here for me it's 0.5 percent so again very very simple you just click the swap button over here it asks you to confirm the swap you click on that and then your meta mask will pop up just like it's doing now and it's showing over here so um let's see do i have enough i might actually have enough so you see, at this moment, it's costing me $17.70 in the gas fee to do this transaction. And that is pretty low, actually. I know it sounds crazy, $17 for a transaction, but when it's congested, this can run up to two, dollars $300. Okay, so it's absolutely crazy. You want to keep an eye on this to make sure that it is not too crazy high. And you always want to double check that, right? So I think I actually have enough ETH in this wallet. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to click the confirm over here. And you can see then it says transaction submitted you can see this on etherscan just to make sure you can see the the transaction hash and then it's going to come up once this is done it's going to pop up say it's confirmed and then basically i get the tokens added to my metamask and you can see over here it is completed so i swapped 0.01 eth for 55.2 woo over here very very easy very simple and that is basically how easy it is to use Uniswap. So now if I go into my MetaMask, you can see over here. So I don't have the asset listed. So what I can go and do very simply is go and add the token over here. And what I need to do to add the token is I copy the contract address over here from Uniswap. Super easy. Go back into my MetaMask. I click on add token. I click on custom token, add the contract address. You can see it's Woo adds it over here and you can see the balance over here is now completed so guys that is how you use uniswap if you did enjoy this tutorial please give it a, a thumbs up smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new hit the notification bell and if you want to get updates whenever i publish a youtube video just sign up for my free crypto masterclass. it's the first link in the description so besides the the free training that you get then you get on my email list and whenever i upload a new video i'll send you an email notifying you of that so that's an easy way to stay in the loop of everything so Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helps you with Uniswap and I will see you in the next video, peace.